And here's Captain Guy Carbonell with uh, Denny Savard right there. They love that little guy, don't they? Yeah, they do. I've been called it many times, was a, a great leader. There's no question about that. Bob Ganey was a great leader, a very great leader. Life has to go on. There's got to be some guys in that room that I still believe are tremendous leaders, or Kurt Muller, Patrick Waugh, I mean, J.J. Daniel. I want Vincent Danfus to play a bigger role, and he will play a bigger role. So that's life. Bob Ganey was one of the greatest captains in the history of the NHL. Uh, Larry Robinson, life goes on. Carboneau joined the Canadians full-time at the start of the 1982-83 season. There were many who said that had Carboneau not concentrated on defense, he would have been a 50-goal scorer. Guy Carboneau. But the defense paid off. Carboneau won the Frank Selke Trophy as the best defensive forward three times. During his career with Montreal, he played 912 games, scoring 221 goals. And here's Captain Guy Carbonell. But perhaps his greatest moment came when he captained the Habs to their Stanley Cup win two years ago. The 23rd captain of the Montreal Canadiens, Kirk Muller. It's not a crown to be worn lightly. I know I was captain for the Montreal Canadiens. You have to have a good character. You have to have a lot of character. And I think Kurt, uh, Kurt is a winner. He hates to lose. And that's what you need. To be a part of a franchise like Montreal Canadiens and most winningest franchise in, in sports, I certainly uh, feel proud and uh, honored to, to fulfill those shoes and, and continue that tradition. The appointment has won the blessing of the greatest Canadien of them all. I don't think uh, Kurt Muller uh, will have to learn too much. Uh, as long as he can say a few words in French, uh, the people will be happy because Everywhere he goes, the people are happy to see him there. They know he's a nice, nice hockey player, he's a hard worker, and no doubt that he's going to be well liked by the, by the Canadian fan here in Montreal. I think your, your first dream is uh, what you, you picture yourself doing is, uh, you know, having a C on your sweater and, and leading some, uh, you know, NHL team to a Stanley Cup championship, and that, that's the, the, the biggest thing I can, you know, remember as a, as a child, you know, hoping for and my dream of, so uh, it's certainly uh, the first step anyway, now we just got to get the championship. <laughs> what about the, what Call it the curse of being crowned captain of the Canadians. Since 1989, the Canadians have gone through captains like socks. Chris Chelios and Guy Carboneau knew what it was like to go from king of the castle to dirty rascal with the C on their chest. Kirk Muller, Carboneau's successor, didn't see it coming, and the latest, Mike Keane, was devastated by it. It's uh, just something that we're, uh, we're both going to miss. The C traditionally meant you were valuable, but for the last six years, it has meant trade. Long gone are 10 year stints. Jean Beliveau should know he was the last to hold such distinction. It doesn't mean that uh, when you're a captain of a team uh, that uh, it's guaranteed that you're never going to be traded. The ties with former coach Jacques Demers are slowly being cut. Tremblay expects the new look Canadians to be led by this man. Turgeon's offensive skills make him the most talented player on the ice. And as a French-Canadian star, he certainly fits the bill as captain in this city. But he's quiet, and some people wonder whether he's got the qualities to lead the team off the ice. In the dressing room, that when I have something to say, I'm going to say it. We need everybody going in the same direction. The knock against Turgeon when he played in Buffalo and Long Island was that his heart wasn't big enough. Tremblay may be betting that making him captain will prevent that problem from emerging in Montreal. The last four Canadians captains have been traded. Turgeon says he hopes to end that streak and finish out his career with the Habs. Bon, et puis là, c'est une euh, très, très grosse nouvelle dans le domaine du sport, le Canadien de Montréal, hein, qui vient de se débarrasser d'un autre, de ses capitaines. Alors, le Canadien qui a échangé Pierre Turgeon et deux autres joueurs au Blues de Saint-Louis. En retour, elle a obtenu le défenseur Murray Barron et l'attaquant Shane Corson, qui lui revient à Montréal. Pierre Turgeon a expliqué qu'il avait lui-même demandé au début du mois d'octobre à être échangé parce qu'il n'était pas heureux de jouer sur le troisième trio. Alors, c'est Vincent Danfousse qui sera le nouveau capitaine du Canadien. 
Ruczynski passe à Danfous derrière le but. Danfous contourne le filet, revient et le but Le commentaire général, c'est que le Canadien a décidé de faire une transaction aujourd'hui. Vincent Danfous s'en va à San Jose. Et nous obtenons en retour un deuxième choix en l'an 2000 et un cinquième choix en l'an 1999. En plus d'un choix compensatoire, naturellement, si Vincent, euh, si Vincent ne signe pas avec eux. Par contre, si Vincent signe avec San Jose, nous allons avoir également un premier choix en l'an okay. 2000 en plus du deuxième choix. There are several candidates for captain, including two players who used to be captains with other teams. Shane Corson is probably the one who wants it the most. To have the C on your, on your chest, uh, the CH alone, and then the C on top of that would, is just a great feeling, and uh, I'd be greatly honored and uh, accept the challenge with open arms. Trevor Linden signed with the Canadians in the summer. He's also shown leadership skills. He was captain in Vancouver. There's a group of guys here that have played a long time for this organization and have a lot of experience in this dressing room. So. It's difficult, uh, <clears throat> might be a difficult situation. Um, I don't know if that's completely fair for me to come in and assume that role. The last two Canadians captains have been appointed by the coach. Many players would like the decision to be back in their hands. If the captain is uh, chosen by the players, you, uh, you might feel a bit more comfortable. You know that the guys are the ones who want you there and, uh, and maybe you feel the support a bit more than when the coach has done the job. The new captain, le numéro 11, number 11, Saki Goldberg.